This is Twit. You know, we, we talked a couple of weeks ago about LG, you know, kind of winding down their R&D arm. Uh, but this is great to see companies like Xiaomi winding them up. Uh, Xiaomi uh, is actually uh, – <laughs> give Jason preps the, a lot of the content for us on the show, just so everyone knows. And I just want to give Jason credit for uh, – Xiaomi is flexing its latest concept, <laughs> smartphone design. Um, but basically this smartphone design is fantastic and just – I want you to hear these words that I'm going to share with you. Quad curved waterfall display. Oh, right, say it again. Let's, say it let's, again. Let's break that down. Quad oh. curved waterfall display. Waterfall. So quad yes. indicates four. Okay, and we all know a cell phone has four sides. So, okay, four sides. Curved speaks for itself. It's not straight or angular. It's curved. Mm. Oof, yeah. Wa- waterfall. Imagine a serene waterfall is the water just continues to fall, let gravity flow with it. Um, And then finally, the display. Uh, So what that translates to is a screen that wraps around on all four sides. Oh, my God. Really? (laughs) It's it's got an 88-degree quad-curved glass panel. This is bananas. It's got no physical buttons or ports. And it's got pressure pressure sensitive touch sensors instead of physical buttons or ports. Um, This is like a future phone, people. This is so oh. cool. This is just – this is a four-sided curved glass, 88 degrees, no buttons. Come on. This is like space. What do you think of this? This is so cool. Look at that. If you're watching the video, they have a, t- a video showing the concept, and text is flowing from the bottom curve up through the up through the main display over to the top curve. Like this is cool. There's a lot of glass. You do not want to drop it though. Um, yeah. So we we joked, Jason. Do you remember when Samsung came out with the edge design and we had the oh, yeah. the first kind of waterfall on the sides? I'm surprised it's taken so many years for someone to do this on all four sides. Uh, yeah, it's it kind of sounds impossible to get glass to do that around all four sides, but uh, apparently they can. I don't know. This just sounds like a nightmare to me. Like it sounds like it's really cool to look at, but I do not want to own this phone. Um, because I mean, I, I put a case on my phone anyway, um, at this point, if I want my phone to survive, cause I just know I'm going to drop it. Maybe, maybe not a, a large catastrophic drop, but even like a couple of feet from my pocket onto the hardwood floor when I'm sitting on the floor, you know, doing a puzzle or something, it's going to fall out and it's going to break. That's just how I roll with phones. So I put a case on it. Like, what's the point of me having this phone when it's going to have a case on it? And this is a phone that is designed to be seen without a case, yet yet a phone like this can't survive in this world without a case. <laughs> I don't understand. What do you think? I think, it, I think it could. I think you just need to be careful, Jason. <laughs> I, I could be careful, but then life happens. No, no well, amount of my about? being careful can protect the phone that I carry. I, I do have to appreciate the spectrum of devices that we cover on this show. We go from the most rugged can absolutely withstand um, some sort of nuclear fallout to, oh, my God, don't even touch it because it's going to crack. Right. Just don't look that's, at it. It's going to crack. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Don't even touch this thing because you're going to break it. I don't know. In my mind, I was thinking... Oh, Ron, why are you getting so excited over this? This doesn't bring us any closer to that phone from the expanse. And then well, I realized well, maybe this would actually. Let's let's repeat again. Quad curved waterfall display. Oh. <laughs> and if you and for those of you who are watching the latest season of the expanse, which I'm watching on Amazon Prime in 4K UHD on my oh, Samsung geez. Frame TV. Okay. Um, they show those. They show those uh, handheld devices a lot this season, and like more than ever, you're getting we're getting a sense of what they look like and how they work. It seems like you know ever since the Expanse went over to Amazon, their effects budget like shot up. Um, wow. And but but there's sense. a couple of but not this only season, are they showing those screens, but they're flip. They have the extra flipping out. To yep. the side. Like the LG Wing, they have exactly. they have another screen that pops out the side. And did you see that uh, there was like a tablet version? Avasarala had a tablet that was on her desk that was like yes. a big pane of glass. Yes. That was so, oh, so cool. So cool. I love the yeah. expanse. 
I, right. I, <laughs> but but that's what I think about when you get excited about something. I've been doing the show long enough with you that <laughs> that is what is categorized in my mind. And so when you do get excited about something, I think to myself, is this going to bring us closer to that goal? And I close. wanted to dunk on this. I really do. But I think, Ron, this might be it. <laughs> it's close. All they need to do is get that back panel to be transparent. And like there to be no electronics in it whatsoever. <laughs> okay, so physically God. that's what they have yeah, to do. So physically close. that's what they have to do. But digitally, yeah. digitally, software wise, whatever, it's that touch capacity yes. that is really, really important there. Like, yep. you know, is it registering touch it touch on the right parts of the screen? Uh, right you know, I saw in some of that demo, there's somebody like sliding with the volume control on the side. So I'm very yeah. curious about those things. I understand this is button less, but I would like to know what is in lieu. So I look forward well, yeah. to more non-promotional videos uh, and something that's a little more instructional. Pressure yeah. sensitive touch sensors flow. Let, let those words just flow into your ears. Pressure like a waterfall. sensitive touch sensors you know uh ron in the 90s i believe it was tlc who taught me that it is <laughs> it is you know important that you don't go chasing waterfalls it's true stick it's true. to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to so i'm gonna stick yeah. to this uh this form factor just one-sided screen with a slight uh, curve that tends to annoy me your one plus river or lake i can't remember what the model is but but you're used to it, so that's all that matters. Uh, in, the, in the world of next-gen smartphone, <laughs> what's that? I said rest in peace, Left Eye Lopez. <laughs> that's right. That's right.